Hello everyone. Welcome to the turning point. In this session, let us see the relation between acceleration of the two blocks A and B. So here, there is a combination of two pulleys. So this is fixed pulley. That means it is not going to move vertically downwards or horizontally. So it is going to be like that. So it will be able to move this pulley will be able to move vertically upwards or downwards depending upon the load applied uh, at this point. So here I want to establish a relationship between the blocks A and B. So for that I will be considering the total length. Let us consider the distance from the ceiling to this one as XA and from the ceiling to this point as XP and from the ceiling to this point XP. So for the total length, so I need to consider first this length. From this point to this point I need to consider length. So that is nothing but XA minus XP. So that is the length of the rope here from this point to this point. So from XP, XA if I subtract XP, so I will get that length. And next, this length. From this point to this point, so I need to consider length. So which is nothing but total length XB minus XP. So I can write that as XB minus XP. So this length is also over. So now I want to take this length. So which is directly there. So XB. So this is the total length of the rope. So which is nothing but L. So I am considering the total length of rope as L. So simplifying it xa plus here is one xb here is another xb so 2xb minus xp minus xp so minus 2xp is equal to l from that xa plus 2xb is equal to l plus 2xp consider this one as equation 1 so let us consider that this block A has an incremental move of delta XA and this block will have an incremental move of delta XB. So let us consider like that. So XA is having incremental move of delta XA. So XA plus delta XA. Similarly XB also having incremental move of delta XB. So instead of XB, so I need to write delta XB plus delta XB is equal to so length of the rope doesn't change even if it uh, block a will have incremental move or block b will have incremental move the length of the rope doesn't change so it is l and uh, the distance from ceiling to the fixed pulley doesn't change it is constant right so it is uh, 2xp so expand this one xa plus delta xa plus 2xb plus 2 into delta xb is equal to l plus 2xp consider this one as equation 2 so now 2 minus 1 so subtract equation 1 from 2 so which in turn gives delta xa 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 gets cancelled delta xa plus 2 delta xb is equal to 0 so from that 2 delta xb is equal to minus delta xa just a minute from this delta xb is equal to minus delta xa divided by 2 so this is the relation between incremental uh, movement uh, for block B and block A. So now if I differentiate this one with respect to time. So nothing but differentiation of distance with respect to time. So that will give velocity. So velocity of block is equal to block B is equal to minus velocity of block A divided by 2. Why? Because ds by dt is nothing but v. Rate of change of displacement is nothing but velocity. Once again differentiate velocity. So from that acceleration of block B is equal to minus acceleration of block A divided by 2. Here the relation between the magnitudes of block A and block B are 
acceleration of block B is equal to acceleration of block A divided by 2. Here the negative sign indicates that here if block A is having acceleration in downward direction so then this block will have acceleration in the opposite direction. So that is the significance of uh, negative symbol here. So it will be having upward acceleration of A by 2. So that is the relation. So acceleration of block B is equal to acceleration of block A divided by 2. So here negative sign indicates uh, it is in the opposite direction. That block is having acceleration in the opposite direction. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on uh, like button. And for more videos, do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.